Hello, this is Peter Wielander, Process Industries Editor for Control Engineering. And this morning I'm up in Waukegan, Illinois, visiting the North American, North and South American headquarters for Yaskawa. One of the things that uh, we've talked about a number of times in control engineering is the fact that electric motors that are put in situations where they're running at a constant speed, but their output needs to be effectively throttled tend to waste energy if they are running at full speed, um, say in a pumping application, but then the output of the pump is controlled by closing a valve or something like that in a blower application where the output of the blower is closed down by a damper. One of the things that we've talked about in that context is that these motors can be replaced by or, or run on a, a VFD, a variable frequency drive, and turn down the motor speed rather than choke off the output of the uh, driven device. This morning we're going to be doing an actual demonstration with some equipment that Yaskawa has here that will actually show the process and prove in, in actual readings of flows and horsepower requirement of the motor and you'll actually be able to see uh, in reality how much that uh, how much adding the VFD can save. So Neil, uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about this uh, demonstration setup? Sure. Um, we know in today's environment that about 33 percent of energy consumption is by industrial type facilities. Of that 33 percent, 12 percent are strictly connected to electric motor systems. Three-phase motors comprise a host of application in our industrial and commercial facilities within the United States. One thing, as Peter said in the introduction, that people tend to do in historically is use flow control devices, mechanical origins such as outlet dampers, inlet guide vanes, bypass valves, throttling valves, etc., to control the flow of various types of liquids or air. What we are showing today is a demonstrator that was built jointly by Yaskawa as well as the Milwaukee School of Engineering in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And the first cell is showing you a constant speed across the line motor and its flow control is varied with an outlet damper. Second, we have a three phase motor which is constant speed operated across the line and we use an inlet guide vane for the flow control means. And finally, we have a variable frequency drive operating a three-phase motor, and we are using the drive itself to control the airflow within its environment. Neil turns on all three blowers. Bear in mind that the setups are identical, except for the mechanical regulating device or addition of a VFD. In this case, the VFD is configured with a feedback loop so it adjusts itself to maintain a specified flow rate, in this case about 680 CFM. Neil adjusts the first two to match the flow so we can compare the horsepower for the same amount of air movement. Now that everything is stabilized, let's look at the performance of each. The first unit, running with an outlet damper, is moving about 671 CFM at .330 horsepower. The second unit, with its flow regulated using inlet guide vanes, is moving about 680 CFM at .345 horsepower. The third unit, equipped with a VFD, has no mechanical regulator. It's running slower than the other motors at 36 Hz, moving 680 CFM at .303 horsepower. Now we saw the difference in the motor, but is the difference in the horsepower actually indicative of the actual current draw? Yes, yes. Uh, with today's um, phantom pumps and VFD control, you know, it's pure physics when it comes to the affinity laws of these type of applications used in industrial facilities. We know that flow is directly proportional to speed. We know that power, though, is the cube of the speed. So if in this last cell we were running the motor only at 36 hertz where these two motors were running at a full 60 hertz across the line. So that 36 hertz, when we're running at that type of speed, our energy savings and our you know, watt consumption 
goes way down. But I think when you start looking at the entire system and you look at the amount of um, soft starting and soft stopping, which will reduce any peak demand charges that your facility may see, I think then when you have the soft starting and soft stopping, you have less mechanical wear and tear. So your belts, your pulleys, your couplings, your impeller, the overall motor system, which again makes up a big chunk of industrial you know, facility usage, you see a savings there and a lower maintenance cost, therefore your cost of ownership of that specific fan or pump application decreases. And then finally, you see just overall energy savings when on your power bill. And that is something that we all need to watch out for, especially in today's economic climate. Good advice, Neil. So from Yaskawa, this is Peter Wielander for Control Engineering. Thanks for watching.